Can you, oh, can you guys hear me okay? Still getting used to these new parts of the program. <laughs> Hi, Diane. How's Florida? Hi, Dawn. Let me just get it going on here. Can you guys hear me okay? Awesome. Okay. I love the way the my my streaming software has updated it's awesome it's so easy i can do everything ahead of time it's just great okay got my phone ready put that over there awesome Messaging Dave quickly. Okay. Hi, Kathy. Oh, what a busy day, I tell you. How is everybody's day going? Perfect. Not too loud. Busy here. I got that Ariadne cut out, which is good. That one makes me think a lot. <laughs> Lots of edge painting on that one, so it'll take me a few days and I'll do projects in between, I think. Now I have to get into dandelion mode. But we'll give it a little bit. We're a little early. Just the three of us on so far. Now, with me being able to pre-schedule all these, was it easy to find? Did you guys get your notifications okay? The only thing I don't like is I can't see how many people are on. Yes, Diana, Juki 1181 is what Lauren uses. Um, it's for, she gets through most things. It's for light to medium fabrics. I was actually looking to get a Juki 1181, but Rodney talked me into the 1541. But 1181 would definitely be good enough. It won't be as powerful as your uh, 1541, but it is definitely good. Did you find a good deal on one down in Florida? I wish I could see how many were viewing it. Oh, man. But 
but I can't. So weird. Kathy, I have not used waterproof canvas for piping before. No, I haven't. But you could definitely do it. It would be similar to when you do cotton piping. So just a little bit thicker. I'm not really a knower of everything waterproof canvas because I don't prefer waterproof canvas myself. I don't use it very often. But you should be able to use it. It'll be fine. Is there a bit of leg happening right now? I'm seeing quite a bit of leg. I think there is about a minute <laughs> of leg that I'm seeing here. Yeah, it's lagging quite bad today. I was just counting. So I'm going to... I'm going to count the leg. I'm going to clap and then I'm going to count and then I'm going to see when it comes up on YouTube. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22. There's 22 seconds of leg. <laughs> yeah, Diane, it would be a little bit cheaper than uh, the Titan 1541 because it's a step down from the 1541. So, so far, all I have in here is Diane, Kathy, and Dawn. Is there anybody else in here? I can't see how many are on. If you're on right now, if you could do a thumbs up for me, and then I kind of get an idea of how many people are here. You wrote that when I clapped. <laughs> yeah, I counted. It's 20 seconds. How did everybody do with homework on their dandelions? And we're going to be dealing with 20 seconds of leg. I think it's just what today is going to be. <laughs> Okay, I have two thumbs up there. If you're on, can you please give me a thumbs up so I have an idea? Sure, Don. if you want to do that in the dandelion group, that would be amazing. Thank you. You can share a link to this too, because um, only those that uh, are part of the dandelion group will get in. 
Easy peasy, good. Not too, too confusing with that slip pocket after I like totally made it more complicated than it needed to be last week. Yeah, Wanda, it, it is odd, but um, it has updated as of this week. That's how I was able to schedule this live. So it actually will only go to the members. So I was actually able to schedule the live through the membership tab, which I wasn't able to do before. Before, I would have to put it in as a um, unlisted uh, live. And then I put it in the membership chat. But really, anybody could have shared that link as long as we were live and anybody could have seen it. Now, only those that are membership can see it. So it's really good. But yeah, I don't know why it doesn't show, but that's okay. Anybody else joined us? Please give us a shout out. So far, I have Diane, Wanda, Kathy, Dawn. That's it. <laughs> Hi, Anna. Ready to roll? Perfect, Kathy. I'm hungry again. Man, I've been hungry all day. I don't know what's going on. Thank you, Don. So we'll give it another five or 10 minutes or so, and then we'll get started. I'll just see if a few more pop in. It's just four o'clock now. Okay, so for those of you, hi Nicole, those of you that are on, who's sewing along with me today? Again, when I stop talking, you know, if there is about 20 to 30 seconds of legs, so it's me waiting for a response. Okay, Dawn is sewing. Dawn down. Hi, Lauren. Lauren, will you be sewing with us today? Hi, Cam. Will you be sewing with us today? Lauren's watching, okay. <laughs> Have a great night at work, Maddie. Aw, oh, Kim, how are you feeling? You still feeling under the weather? Not good. I hope you feel better soon. So we have some thunder happening outside right now and Coco is scared of it so she may act out a little bit. You probably heard her there. It was kind of a cry because we just had a crash of thunder. It's really weird this time of year to have the thunder. Did you guys hear that thunder? Oh my goodness, Kim. Have some hot tea. Take a Tylenol. Feel better soon. Oh, there's more thunder. Oh my goodness. Diane's just watching because you're already done, Diane. You're ahead of the game. Isn't it, Nicole? Yeah, we do. It's been a really weird, dark day. We haven't had any rain. It's not too smoky anymore, but it's been dark all day long. Kathy's sewing along, okay. So 
So, so far I have Diane, Wanda, Anna, Kathy, Dawn, Kim, Lauren, and Nicole. Am I missing anybody? And we've only been on for about five minutes. We'll give it about five more minutes and then we will get started. Today's goal is to get through the piping on the side panels if you're doing the piping and to assemble one of the pouches, possibly two of the pouches, depending on um, how good we're doing. If we don't get to the second pouch, that will be homework. It's gloomy there too, hey Nicole. Except they're calling for snow in the higher elevations. It's really weird because it was like 27 last week. <laughs> I don't understand it. It's cold and wet in Indiana, Kim. I wish we had a little bit of rain. It's been so dry. And I don't like um, it when it's dry out and we're getting thunder because that means there's lightning, which means fires here. So, ah, uh, Anna says it's raining all day and cloudy in Ontario, depressing but great sewing weather. I don't find rain depressing at all. I love it when it rains. I open up all the windows and it makes me happy. It's the opposite for me. But I'm a weirdo, so. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight people, yes. We usually have quite a few more. We're missing some people. Frankie may pop in, but she is traveling to Florida. Ah, Kim, de-stress yourself. Can you go for a massage or something like that to help with that? Don, you don't like the rain, but you live on the lower mainland, so that's probably why. It rains a lot in Maple Ridge, doesn't it? We don't get hardly any rain here. I love it when it rains in Kamloops. <laughs> yeah, Nicole. <laughs> well, your home back in Ashcroft is very similar weather there to Kamloops, so you probably love the rain there like I did. But yeah, I last year in Princeton with those floods, oh my gosh. I'll take rain over snow any day though. Okay, so we'll give it three more minutes. I know we have a lot of members, like we have 37 people in this class. Most I think attend and watch the replay outside of the class. But usually we have about 15 on. I don't think we're going to get that today. Oh, you had a massage on Tuesday? Well, that's good, Kim. I haven't been for a massage in forever. I really need one. Mm -hmm. So just Kathy and Dawn sewing along with me today? Go another couple minutes and then we will get started. Oops, where'd that go? In my lap. <clears throat> so Kathy and Dawn, if you wanted to put on your right zipper foot right now, if you're doing um, piping, you can go ahead and do that before we get started. It's more thunder and Coco's barking again. That's her thunder bark. Did you guys hear that one? It shook the house. Holy moly. Hmm. I better not lose power. <laughs> it's really windy and really thundery. It's very weird weather for this year or for this time of year. So if I suddenly go off, 
then you know I lost power. <laughs> Coco will be fine. She can come down here. The door is open. She can push it open if she needs to. Poor Miss Coco Beans. Benny. Where is Benny? Oh, Benny is sleeping on my hoodie on the floor over by my vinyl. Yep. Did he eat his food? He only ate half of his supper. Oh, well. Okay, so Kathy and Don, let me know when you have your zipper feet on and then we will get started. Okay, I got to get out of Ariadne mode and into a dandelion mode. <laughs> Let me just get to that page. Where is that page? So I'm jumping ahead in the pattern a little bit to page 10 and then we will backtrack to do the pouches. I just like to get all of my exterior panels done first. Grab out all my pieces now. I obviously did not cut those down so whoops that's not what I want. Just gotta trim my interfacing off of these ones. I guess I can put you guys down here. As soon as I hear from Don and Kathy, we will get started. Okay. So once again, I forgot that I needed to trim out all my interfacing. Is this a good enough angle here? My new table is shipping out either tomorrow or Monday. Super excited for it. It's been paid for. Probably won't be here in time for next week's classes, but for the classes starting in November, I'm going to have an all new setup in here, which I think is going to be a lot of fun. Dawn is ready. Kathy, let me know when you're ready to go. shaky table will be gone. Yay! New table is supposed to be so sturdy and it's portable. It's okay, Coco Beans. It's only thunder. I swear that dog is just like having a young child. <laughs> She's so high maintenance. But I love her to death. Of course, I am the only one home. Dave's at work. He's been working late. Riley's at work. Brady's at work till five. So I'm stuck with her. Uh oh, Nicole, you got a snowfall warning already? Oh my gosh. Not good. Okay. Okay, Kathy's ready too. Okay, so I've pulled out my piping pieces. Now, if you made your piping, you can see here I kept my cording is right there. I kept my cording about an inch outside of the ends of my vinyl so the cording only goes to there to there and that's to keep it out of the seams you're gonna miss my bongo table are you done no you're not <laughs> all right let me just get reacquainted with what we're doing um okay so we are going to also need our little d-rings that we prepared already we're going to deal with those first so we can put these ones aside for now. Let me get situated. Here. Ooh, ooh, I just broke that. Good thing I'm getting new drawers with my table. How wide did you cut your strips to make your piping? One and a half inches. I believe. <laughs> I have them folded in half. Yes, one and a half inches. And then I used 532nd-ish piping, which I got from Galaxy Customs. 
and you want it to have about a three eighths of an inch seam allowance. That's our seam allowance, right? Yeah. So that works out to do it that way. Okay. Okay, so for our exterior side pieces, now this is gonna seem like it is wrong, but just go with it with me here. On the left side of both of our side pieces at the top, we want to make a small mark at three quarters of an inch. And you want this to be quite accurate. Okay, three quarters of an inch. So left side of both of them. And then we want to take our connectors and we want to put them on and we want to leave about, what is that? Three eighths of an inch or so hanging over. So just hanging slightly over. You can even use your table to do that. Three eighths ish of an inch hanging over the edge where are my clips, there they are. And you want to line it up to the right of that line. Just like so. Yes, the D-rings for the crossbody straps. So the little half inch ones. You do not want to be using bigger ones than this, trust me. And these babies are a little thick, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. So you may have to crank, hand crank it if you are on a domestic. Okay, and then we're gonna go ahead and we are going to baste those into place at the machine. Okay, so go ahead and baste those in place. Look at my mess over here. Let me get organized. I've been doing too many projects at once. We didn't quite have to put our zipper foot on, but we're going to be using it here momentarily. So it's just easier to have it on already. Save some time. So ladies, let me know when you're all done with that. Oh, I'm just so excited. I can't wait for my new table to come. It's gonna be so good. I'm trying to keep this as clear as I possibly can. I'm trying to be more neat and tidy. I can't promise it. So they should look exactly the same, both on the left hand side. to do that. I so wish I could have music playing in the background.
Give it another minute or so. How are you ladies making out? Just reacquainted myself. All right, I got this. Hi, Alba. Are you running late to your own going away dinner? Where are you going? Oh, you're not doing crossbody, so you're ready? Okay, Kathy, are you ready? Are you doing a crossbody? Oops, wrong pen. Thanks for popping in, Elba, and happy going away dinner. Oh my goodness, a big change for you. Okay, so we are going to move on. Kathy, if you need a hand, just let me know. So now what we want to do is we want to take our lining side panels and put them right sides together and line up that top edge. Oh my goodness, Kathy. Okay, no worries. I, I don't know why it is lagging so much today. Holy. But I can see it from my uh, streaming software to what I see on the YouTube here. It is a little bit behind. So if... I move ahead and you're not ready, just tell me to stop, okay? Okay, so once we have these done, we're gonna go ahead and sew across both of these with a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. All right. So this is where you're going to feel it a little bit thick by that connector, but we want it to be nice and sturdy. So I'm going to have my hump jumper ready because I might need it to get up and over that. No, I'm okay. And then I am also going to go in with another row of stitching, an eighth of an inch from that one into the seam allowances. So here's our line here. And I'm just gonna go an eighth of an inch up as well, just to secure this crossbody strap a little bit more and to secure that seam a little bit more. That's one done. So once you're done those, let me know. I ran out of bobbin thread right there, but I made it across so I can change my bobbin thread out. Good thing I have another bobbin wound. 
Oh, I hear my neighbor's kid screaming. Mm -hmm. I am actually, I just realized that I have the back door open. So I'm just going to run upstairs really quick to make sure Coco is inside with the thunder. Okay, so I will be back in two shakes of a lamb tail. Let me know when you're done there. I'll be right back. Joys of being home alone. Coco, are you She's in the house, that's good. Okay, so I'll give you guys another minute or so. Let me know when you're done. And then we will move on. Okay, Don, change your bobbin. Funny, I just had to change my bobbin too. <laughs> I've got dry throat, holy moly. baby. We'll give it another minute. Try to clean up my station a little bit. And then we're going to do the piping. That's exactly when I ran out too. Okay, so I'm going to assume Kathy's lagging behind. Kathy, if I get ahead of you, please do stop me. I'll show how to do this twice. Okay, so what we want to do is take our lining piece and we want to kind of flip it up and out of the way. We are not going to top stitch this right now. We want it to kind of hang out up there. Okay, let me. So now we are on page 11 of the pattern. Now on the right hand side here, actually we're gonna be doing it on all sides. We want to, from where we connect here, we want to make a mark on just the exterior pieces at a half inch on the top and on the bottom, on all sides. And what these marks are is gonna be where we're going to veer our piping off. I didn't do this in the uh, tutorial, which I should have. Okay, it's done. Okay, so we have the marks for our piping. So I will do one side with you and then we will go ahead and do the other three together. So my piping is longer, of course, but that's okay. What I'm going to do first off is I'm just going to line it up with the raw edges and I'm just going to clip it in place right now, straight down. Okay, and then at those marks, and this is why we made our piping stop. This is all just vinyl here. My piping stops there, and that's because we are going to veer this off at that one inch mark right there. So what that, if I did this right, that means we won't be sewing over our piping. I actually might be sewing over a little bit of it still. I'm going to move it down. <laughs> okay. That's better. Try that again. Okay. 
Again, if you're using pre-made cotton stuff, it doesn't really hurt the machine to go over it, but I'm using a uh, foam type of a uh, piping cord in here. Hi, Jade. Long time no see. Okay, so you're going to take this top part and you're going to veer it until you see that line like that. And then you're going to pin this in place like that. Same with on the bottom. You're going to take this end and you're going to veer it off the fabric right until you hit that mark right there and hold that in place with a clip. And then we're going to go down. I can do that better. And then we're going to go ahead and we are going to attach it. So we're going to go down with our, our three eighths of an inch seam allowance. So from the, not from this edge, but from following the line of our side panel here, just on the exterior, go over, you're going to end up going over top of this veered off edge, which is going to bring you nice and close beside your piping here, going three eighths all the way down. Then when you get to the bottom, you're going, you should be able to miss that piping a little bit go up and then it will veer off the bottom as well. Does that make sense? Yeah, there is serious, serious leg. <laughs> okay, so this is where you want that left or right zipper foot on to do that. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we will do, once we've done that at the machine, then we'll work on our own and do the other three sides. Of course, I didn't mark this one. I'll mark it right now. Okay, let's hop on over there. So it's very important that it veers off because we want those ends to hide in there. So you can do this at a basting stitch because we're also going to be sewing through this later. So, so again, we're only sewing through the exterior. Do not sew through this. Look what I did. Do not, I didn't do it. Good. <laughs> Make sure you're not sewing through that lining piece. I almost did. I had it folded under. Okay. Take two. Oh yeah, and I'm just missing that piping. Perfection. My demo bag, I kind of sewed through it. And it was fine. It was perfectly fine. And then when you get to the bottom where it's veered off, keep following the line of the side panel, not the line of the piping. And then you will be sewing over top of that piping again, or the vinyl part of that piping. And then back stitch. How straight did I get it? Eh, not too bad. Okay. And then what you want to do is I just like to flip it up like I have that piping done and you can see you can't see any of my basting stitches on my piping which means it's nice and good so when we go to sew this on we'll be able to follow um, the stitching that we made here on the piping which is great. So go ahead and sew on the other three sides in the exact same manner. If you have any questions about that please do stop me to explain again. Veer it off. Move it up a little bit. Again, if you sew over that piping, it's not the end of the world. It just gets really, really thick in that seam. There we go, that's better. Okay. 
I'm going to go ahead and attach all of these and then I'll take them all over to the machine at the same time. Probably going to hear Benny eating in the background. I have his food down here so Coco doesn't eat it, but she's got to be supervised. She likes Benny's old man food. How are you, Jade? Now, if you didn't want to use piping cording, you can always do like a faux piping, which is just folding the vinyl in half even. That works out really nice too. I've done that before. Okay. Is that going where I want it to go? Yep. All right, so I'm gonna hop on over to the machine and do this. You can kind of see how well you've done if it's nice and straight here, which I've done pretty good. Once again, make sure your lining piece is flipped up and out of the way. nice and easy piping because you're not worrying about going around any curves or anything like that which is really nice no, I didn't do so great on that one I'm gonna go back in with that one mm. kind of went off kilter being a good boy. Okay, and then Don and Kathy, let me know when you're all done that, and then we will move on. Oops, to the next step. I think I can do a little better and get a little closer there. Mm -hmm.
machine doing? Why are you eating my thread? Technical difficulties with my bobbin. How oh, better. Go a little closer with that one too. So I'm just going a little closer to my piping because I can see my stitches from when I made my piping, which means I didn't get as snug as I wanted it to. I'm having issues with my bobbin. What are you doing, Mr. Bobbin? You're not doing piping, Don? Okay. I'm making a mess of things for some reason. My bobbin is being nasty. Technical difficulties. Mechanical difficulties, more like it. Give it another four minutes or so, and then we will move on. Hopefully by then I have whatever's going on with my sheen figured out. We're good now. Okay. Alrighty. <laughs> All these threads from my threads breaking. You miss me. What a mess. My piping looks great. That one looks good. That one looks good. Okay, and then once you have that done, you see the wings on the back here, you can go ahead and you can cut it even to the sides like this. Just trim off those piping wings. And they have something that looks like that. Alrighty. Okay. And in about two minutes, we are going to jump back to, where are we going to jump back to? Page seven. Okay, so these we can put aside for now. Now I'm going to go ahead while I wait and clean up my interfacing here I said I meant to do this for homework but you know me I always forget like I need a new rotary cutter on her rotary blade on here. I haven't changed it in a while. Next project I'll change it out. So you'll want to pull out your four zipper pocket lining pieces. And I'm taking my mom out for her birthday. Her 68th birthday is tomorrow. So she and I are going to go to a play on Saturday. 
and because she can't see this I can say and I have a surprise dinner at Mr. Mike's for her after the play. She thinks it's just my dad and Dave and me and her going but I have all of her brothers, my aunts and uncles coming so she's going to be super happy about that. Alrighty. All right, we're going to move on. So now we need to prep our zippers. So I'm just gonna take one of my lining pieces here and you wanna make sure that the wider side is face up and I'm just gonna lay my zipper tape over top and just make it just a smidgen longer. We can trim it up later and we're going to need two of them. So you can go ahead and cut your zippers and put your zipper pulls on. Oh, you got a piping fit, Kathy? I am jealous. Okay. So you can leave the sides for now um, and you can move right on to these zipper pockets. So go ahead and put on your zipper pulls. I'm going to pull out my fork to do that right now. My handy dandy fork. I love this thing. It's my zipper jig that Dave made me. And my two zipper pulls. I will wish my mom a happy birthday. Thank you. I really need to get a piping foot. I was going to buy one, but I bought a table instead. So piping foot will have to wait. Thank you to everybody who donated to the coffee account. You paid for half of my table, which is amazing. So it's a $1,200 table. It's a Sylvia Designs table, 70 inches by 40 inches, five drawers, super stable, and it was on sale for $980 at Central Sewing. So half of the table got paid for from the coffee account. So thank you for everybody that donated to that. It definitely helped. And then I pitched in the last half. So both. $400 from the coffee account, $600 from me, and yay! New table will be Ooh. here next week. Oh, happy birthday, Cynthia! Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear Cynthia, happy birthday to you. Don't be scared of piping, Jade. It's not scary. <laughs> Okay, Don, let me, Don and Kathy, let me know when you have your zipper pulls on and we will continue. And happy birthday to Cynthia. Day before my mommy's birthday. And Jade. You got to hear my lovely singing voice. It's not so lovely. <laughs> 21st birthday. Yay. <laughs> oh, to be 21 again. My son's 21. Cocoa beans. Matt would be a German Shepherd walking across her turf, so. <laughs> mama Bean, I love it. I'll take, I'm going to tell her that you called her Mama Bean, Jade. That's super cute. Okay.
I am just orientating myself with what we are doing here. Just bear with me for a second as I'm figuring out which way I want these to be. And this is flipped over. It'll be going that way. That's not what I want. I think that's what I want. Okay. I think it fits very nicely. I mean, she is one of the ones that started calling me Jelly Bean. The pulls, that's okay, Don. No rush, because I'm trying to remember my orientation for how I want this to go. So that is going to be my back. Okay. I've got her figured. Kathy is ready and Dawn is ready. Okay, so we want to take our two lining panels, our zipper, two of our zipper pocket lining panels. I'm just going to double check once more. Just, just don't worry about my way of thinking right now. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure this out. Okay, yeah, I'm right. Okay, so again, I'm going to use double-sided tape for this. Uh, you can definitely use clips. We want to make sure this one on the left-hand side, we want it closing to the left. The one on the right-hand side, we want closing to the right, okay? So we're going to take this lining piece. I'm hoping I'm doing this the right orientation because it gets confusing. I'm going to put tape along the wider side of the lining piece. Go ahead and put your zipper tape on top. So the lining piece and your zipper are both right side up. Still gonna make sure I'm doing this right. So that's gonna be on the inside at the back. Okay. All right. And then what I was trying to figure out is I want the zipper pocket to be at the back and I want to make sure my zipper pulls are going the right way. I'm just going to double check with this one too. So this will be the front. Okay. Yep. My thinking is right. So for this one on the left with our zipper pull going to the left, we have it stuck down. We're also going to go ahead and on the lining piece that has our female side of the snap and our zipper pocket that if you're doing the zipper pocket like me, if you've done it like the pattern, it doesn't matter which ones these are because they're identical. So we're going to put some double sided tape along here. And we are going to center this best we can. I probably would have helped if I had marked my center, but I did not. You are going to find that this piece here is going to be wider than this piece and that is okay. So we're going to go ahead and put these right sides together. I'm actually going to go ahead and clip my center of my lining piece. Sorry. I'm just going to do a small clip there because that'll help. I'm not cutting my tape. I'm just cutting my thing because we want to match up that center snip and that center snip. And then we know we have it centered for sure because this piece is going to be wider than this piece. So put them right sides together, matching up that center, and stick it down or clip it down. Okay, and I'm just gonna double check once more because I'm paranoid. Did I do that right? I didn't do it right. Shoot. What did I do? Okay. Just give me a moment to think about this. So we got that one going to the left. Mm. 
How did I do this in the other thing? Sorry guys, I'm trying to think. So this will be the back. Now it's closing to the right. That's not what I want. This will be the front. Just let me think this through for one second. This will be the front of the bag. It's front of the bag. Closing to the left. Okay. Okay, bear with me. The one closing to the left. I'm just going to double check. We want that to be the one that has the slip pockets on it. I'm sorry, I got it backwards. The zippers get confusing, especially when you want them going in the same direction. So the way I'm thinking is when these are right sides together, just to go through my thought process, so when these are right sides together, so this is the one I want on the inner front. So when this is stuck down and we flip it over, so this is going to be the inside part of the bag. So the front of the bag is going to be here. And I want to make sure that my pull is going to the left because on this side, I will have my exterior front on it. Um, yeah, that's, that's what we're, that's what's going to be happening. I switched them around Wanda. So for the one that's going to the left, the zipper pull that's going to the left, we want to use the slip pocket piece. So when we do have it connected, so this will be the inside of the bag. This will be the zipper pocket. And then the exterior is going to be on this side. And, um, then we have our zipper pull going to the left and then it should work out with this one. As Wanda said, with our zipper pulls going the same way, that is such a great way of thinking about it. Is that going to be right? And then this will be at the back of the bag. Wanda, you just taught me something new. I have never, ever thought about that, that as long as your zipper pulls are going the same way, it will work. Thank you. Wanda, awesomeness. Okay. So again, we are working with the zipper that is going to the left. We are taking our piece that has the mail snap and the slip pocket. If you're doing the same as me, we are going to match up those centers. See this, if you get them the wrong way around, then your zippers are going the wrong way. So that's why it just took me a moment to think. Didn't have to think about it with the pattern originally um, because we would just be matching up the front later on with it. Okay, so once again, when I flip this out and over, it's going the correct way. We're gonna do the same with the other side, but this time the zipper pull is going to the right. I'm gonna find my center. Once again, thank you, Wanda, for your helpful tip. You taught me something new. Yay, for learning new things. I'm gonna put it on the lining piece right side up. Sorry if I caused any confusion there and I had to kind of picture it. Zippers are tough. And that's the problem with when you have multiple zippers is trying to get them to go in the same direction. Yeah. So as Wanda said, we have the zipper pull on this closing to the right and the zipper pull of our zipper pocket closing to the right. So that is correct. And once again, I'm going to put tape along the top of that lining piece. So we got our zipper pocket lining and our interior lining. So this is the inside pocket of the bag. Match up your center marks. Holy, my neighbors are talking so loud. I can hear them through the wall. You know you need new windows when. And again, our zipper pocket pieces are going to be slightly wider. I did not center that very good. I don't think I have my center snip marked very good, so I'm going to eyeball it. Ooh, my neighbors are having a fight, guys. 
Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to sew across both of these with a 3 eighths of an inch seam allowance. Make sense to everybody? Didn't confuse you too badly? And this is where it's good to have your zipper foot on. You can get nice and close to that zipper. This zipper is like a top zipper, so it is going to be very visible. Yeah, Wanda, you totally taught me something new. So I always think about it way too hard, but your hint there just makes it almost like so you don't have to think. That's amazing. Thank you so much for sharing that. So that is going to be at the front. Okay, that's good. I love it. Now that will stick with me for life. That's great. I want to make sure I'm... No, that's right. when we come I've learned so much with this group too it's just wonderful okay Don and Kathy let me know when you're ready okay go ahead and do a quarter of an inch that should be fine too Don so if we've done that right when we have this open so this will be the front of the bag and this will be the back of the bag. And when we put them together with that magnetic snap, both of our pulls should be going to the left, which they are. So that's perfect. Let me know when you're ready, lady. What, what I'm gonna do right now while I'm waiting is I'm gonna go ahead and push these wrong sides together and I'm gonna give it a good press with the machine to settle down these the seam nice and uh, flat. So I'm going to run over and do that at the iron while I wait for you guys. You can do the same. And what we are just doing right now, I should have shown you, is this intersection. So this is where we're getting the zippers to go the same way. So we're doing this inner panel and that side of the zipper pocket. What are you doing, Ben? It's not time to go upstairs, baby. Make sure when you're pressing this that you do not get your, uh, don't melt your vinyl um, overlay. to do you guys I forgot to put my rivets into my slip pocket so before I sew this together I'm gonna to quickly put my rivets in there I'm obviously sleeping on the job glad I noticed it now because it's easy to do it now I mean they don't have to go in I just really like the security of them
yeah, just do whatever seam allowance you guys are comfortable with. Okay, I'm gonna put those rivets in quickly. I need my gunmetal ones, where are they? I failed at homework. I thought I had it all done. eating. Okay. Kathy's done. Dawn is ready. Okay, give me two seconds and then I'll be ready. <laughs> now you guys are waiting on me. Oh my goodness, I'm sorry. Almost done. I'm just glad I noticed this now before it was too late. Okay. So, do you guys have that all pressed nicely, wrong sides together? So, now what we want to do is we want to take our marking pen and from the edge of this, we want to mark. Whoops, that one's big. This is my little one. We want to mark in half inch from the edge of that lining piece here, of this piece here, half inch and a half inch on this side. And we are going to chop stitch this just in between those lines. And we'll do that on the other side as well. So we do not want to go into this exterior part. You just want to go at the half inch. Okay, so you can go ahead and top stitch along there with an eighth of an inch seam allowance in between those half inch marks. And I'm going to check my tension. hanging out there. Just so half inch to half inch mark only. Believe it or not, this bag is going to go together as a tube. It sounds really weird. It is a very, very different construction, but that is what we're working towards. Okay, so let me know when you're all done there. And 
once again, just going to double check that when I have these right sides together and snapped together, that my zippers are closing in the same direction, which mine are. Perfect. I'm just going to go and give these a quick press because I got a little bit wrinkled. Carefully because that is my Odie coated piece. check I got a message here make sure it's not somebody trying to get into class that can't Another three minutes or so. Dawn is ready. Give Kathy another couple minutes. Where did my tape go? There it is. Kathy is done. Okay, so now we want to take our other two aligning pieces with the wider sides at the top. Go ahead and put your tape across the top, or if you're going to be pinning it, that works too. Whenever I say tape, just know you can also pin it, okay? <laughs> I'm always going to use tape. You guys know my love affair I have with double-sided tape. Okay. We'll do one first. Doesn't really matter which one we grab. Now what we want to do is kind of line this up so it lines up with that lining piece on the bottom right sides together, nice and centered, and stick this down to the unsewn side of that tape, like so. See what I did there? And do the same with the other one. And we're matching it along that top edge there.
Okay. Oops. Let's fix that a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now we know our front pocket. We want to be with the front of our bag. So the front of the bag is going to attach to the one that has the zipper pull going to the right. Yes, that's right. So go ahead and put tape or clip along the top of this one. Make sure your rings are out of the way so we don't accidentally sew over them. And you're gonna put the centered matching up the lines of this panel here, right sides together. So you can kind of use that panel as a guide to get it nice and centered. Oh, cocoa beans. I don't even know what she's barking at now. There's no more thunder. Okay, so you got that one ready to go and you're gonna do the same with the back one. I'm actually just gonna go give this another quick steam here. I'm finding out with an Odie coat, you can steam it to get out any creases that it may have which is good because mine got wrinkly sitting for as long as it did. I have stuff to the back, I guess. Let's move it out. There we go. And then you can go ahead and sew those together with quarter of an inch or three eighths of an inch seam allowance, whichever your preference is for both of them. So go ahead and do that. And then we will come back. And I think, and you're also going to top stitch it the exact same way we did with this side. So go ahead and do that. You're pretty much just repeating what we did with this. So sew them together, a quarter inch or three eighths of an inch, whichever you want to do for that zipper. Flip the wrong size together and top stitch in between those half inch marks. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that. May I see again the front attached to the slip pocket one? Um, sure. Front is attached to the slip pocket one. So when it's laying down like this, there's a slip pocket here. The pull is going to the right and your front goes right sides together with it. So the front is attached to the slip pocket with the pull going to the right. So when they come right sides around, the pull will then be to the left. Did that help, Don? So just like I have attached the lining piece on this side, with the zipper and then put the front right sides together with the slip pocket. That's good. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then you're going to put them wrong sides together and then you're going to mark your half inch marks and then top stitch in between those marks again. You think, Benny, I don't want to run you over, baby. Oh, I'll switch this over to Tiffany. There we go. there. 
Oh, it's fine. Make sure you don't run over your rectangular rings. I'm almost doing that. That would be bad news. rattling on this table. That's annoying. Where are my okay there? Are. is rocking and rolling and rattling on me today. Okay, so because I can't press this one because this is my OD coated front and I don't want to put the iron on it, I'm going to use my double sided tape to press my seams away from the zipper. Just like I do with I'm going to treat it like it's vinyl. happy look how nice and straight my zipper is that makes me happy 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 same with on the other side so this is really almost like making three bags in one it truly is pulled and you can see they're pulled my lining is pulled nicely away from my zipper teeth which is what we want and I'm going to go in and measure my half inch Make sure you're not pulling your zipper pull off of your ends because we have not tacked these so you don't want that zipper pull coming off at all. Kind of keep it in the middle. straight that makes me happy oh that's just my interfacing coming unstuck that's okay in my half inch and then I'll go and top stitch these how's everybody making out just kind of rinse and repeat for these shaken. I might have to tighten some screws. Just that 
one done. annoying rattle I apologize you guys it's good on getting a new table I can kind of tighten up stuff and everything with Dave's help maintenance of things it's my, it's this one that's rattling I think I need to tighten that little lug nut okay so that's that let me know when that's all done I'll give you guys about five minutes or so And we're going to be doing good. We're going to get the pouches done like I wanted to today. And then next week we'll be able to put it all together and finish it off. Okay, next part is a little bit I'm just reacquainting myself because this next part is very tricky. So I just want to make sure I have all my ducks in a row. Okay. Dawn is ready. Give it another two minutes. And I hope I can explain this well. If you don't have your zipper foot on right now, you're definitely going to want your zipper foot on now. You'll actually have your zipper foot on for the rest of the construction of this bag. So I'm going to show you one of these and if we have time we will do the second one together otherwise it's going to be homework. Give it one more minute. You can actually go ahead and trim your zipper up a little bit here just to match the lining panels even like so. So they will stick out a little bit just line them up with the lining panels like that. So they're sticking out just a smidgen with those lining panels. another minute this part is crucial to being sure that our zipper is going to stay nice and straight on the sides okay so now what we want to do is we want to flip our exterior panel or our exterior and this inner lining piece together like this just flip them out of the way and then bring your pocket lining pieces together like so. We are not going to be sewing these together. They are just going to hang out. Now, what we want is we want this zipper here. Maybe if I show it this way, we want it to stay nice and straight like this. So we are going to pinch. See what I'm doing here? My zipper is staying nice and flat. 
we want that to stay nice and flat and we are just going to pinch this and put a clip there actually we're going to mark it because we're not going to sew past there we are going to sew these sides together so once you have it like this go ahead and make a mark just below the zipper like this i think brady is home so make sure the zipper is sitting nice and flat when you have it up like this. Brady's home. Coco's going to do her little welcome chant for a second. I'll give it a second here. Does this make sense what I'm saying right here? So if you stand it up like this, so you have your exterior or your exterior outer and your inner slip pocket piece here. You have your lining pieces here for your zipper pocket. And you are ensuring that this zipper is sitting nice and flat like this. And you're pinching the lining pieces here. And I've made a little mark right there because that's where I'm going to stop sewing. Okay. So go ahead and put a clip in there. So as you can see there, my zipper is nice and flat. Do the same on the other side. So I'm holding it up like this, making sure my zipper is staying flat. I'm going to kind of pinch my lining pieces together. and make a mark so i'm below that zipper tape like so and put a clip in there okay so you can see so that's keeping that zipper nice and you can kind of see here straight like this so the zipper is still flat with these two pieces does that make sense If that makes sense, then go ahead and clip this all the way around. Not worrying about this part, only the zipper pocket lining pieces. Hello, Brady. Or is it Dave? Hello, Dave. It's the husband home early. Still in class. You want to come say hi? No. <laughs> Don and Kathy, do you need to see that again at all, or does that make sense? Because I can do it with the other piece too, to show you again. I'm actually going to go ahead and clip the other piece as well. That's one done. I'm going to do this one as well. So once again... I'm putting the place with the magnetic snap and my exterior piece right sides together. I have my zipper pocket lining pieces down like this. And I just, I always find that it, it just helps when I put it up like this to see what I'm doing. So you want to make sure that zipper is staying nice and flat like this. Pinch the lining piece here, make a little mark just below the zipper okay so i'm showing it again don so let me know if you need to see it again after this i know i'm ahead of you a little bit so i have that nice and straight i'm going to pinch it here put in a clip and you can see where i made my mark just below the zipper right there do the same on the other side hold it up like this make sure your zipper is nice and straight so it's sitting flat this way hi coco Pinch your lining pieces together to the point where this is still staying nice and flat. Do another little mark and put a clip in place. So when you have your zipper lying flat, that's making this kind of stick up and you can see how my zipper tape is still sitting flat flush with the table and that is what we want. And then go ahead and clip all the way around. So you can see I have those two outer pieces fanned out so I can make sure that my zipper is sitting flush with the table, nice and flat. And then going ahead and clipping this pouch all the way around. Does that make sense? So let me know when you're done with one of them at least clipped together. And then I'll show you what we're going to do next. 
So you know if you have it right once it's clipped because it stays flat. You have these fanned out, it stays flat, and this kind of sticks up with the zipper teeth sitting flat right side down to the table. Okay, so I'll give you guys about uh, five minutes or so to do that, just to even get one. If you want to do both, you can. Let me know when you're ready, and then I'm going to explain what we're going to do next. It's not hard. It's just kind of making sure everything is positioned right so it sews into the correct position. Then once we have this done, we are done for the day because the next step is actually going to be putting everything together, getting that tube, and we will want to start fresh with the final assembly of this bag next week, trust me. Because it's going to seem confusing, but it isn't. It is a genius way of doing it. It's just a really different way. Like I never have constructed a bag like this before until this bag. And I 100% see why now Celine requested that I do a tutorial for this because she always has people messaging her asking questions. So I even messaged her asking questions, to be honest. But Wanda says, yes, it makes sense since I've seen your tutorial prior to your explanation and otherwise I might be lost. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I said it is it is rather confusing and I'm so glad that the tutorial is there as well so you can kind of see both ways of doing it. All clipped. Okay, we'll give Kathy another three minutes. And your zipper is laying nice and flat, Don. I honestly think you could probably do this exact same thing with zipper tabs. I think that might be easier, but I'm trying to stay true to the pattern here. And I haven't tested it with zipper tabs yet, but that, that may be another option if this is a struggle, but I managed it okay with this bag. Like it, it turned out okay, as you can see. Actually, the zipper tabs may not have worked so great. I don't know. I would have to try it. Another two minutes. Dave's home early, which means I don't have to make supper. <laughs> Give it another minute. Did that make sense for you, Kathy? Okay, so now we're just gonna do one. So the side that we have our marks, we already have our marks just below the zipper. This one mark is already worn away. Let me just redraw it, making sure my zipper is nice and flat. Okay. So we have a center mark here, okay? Center-ish mark. So we are going to go ahead and we're gonna start here and we are going to sew with a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance. This way, is it 3 8 Yeah, 3 8 So we're gonna go sew from the center mark this way, 3 8 and then up here, to as close to that little line that we drew, we do not want to sew through that zipper. So you're just gonna go as close as you can without this zipper bending. So there will be a teeny tiny hole there and that is fine. Then you're going to backstitch and then you're gonna come back and go the other directions from the center up and up this way. And the reason we do that is it's a lot easier to sew up to that mark and stitch it than to start at that mark and come down. So you're gonna do it in two sections this way and up, stop at that mark or close to that mark as you can without the zipper going wonky and then come back and do it from the center and go up the other side doing the same thing. And we will do that with both of them. Okay. And that'll close up that zipper pocket. starting in the 
at the bottom. And then up again, making sure, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing here. I'm kind of making sure I'm holding my zipper nice and flat so I know it is staying in place like this. So I know it's not coming down or anything. I want to make sure it's staying nice and flat. So I'm kind of holding it in place here and getting as close as I possibly can to that mark without sewing through the zipper. And right about there. So my, my presser foot is almost right up against the zipper right here. So I know I have to stop there. Now I can see I went in a little bit too much here. So I'm just going to go in and fix that seam allowance. I don't have to go all the way up to where I was now. I was stressed about that. So <laughs> I'm just going to go and even this up. Go. And then go ahead and do the same on the other side. So you probably have to flip this over to go the other direction is fine. You may have to mark the opposite side or you can just kind of wing it. So once again, I'm going to hold my zipper up nice and straight. So it's kind of standing up tall. You see what I'm doing holding it up nice and tall? Like so, I'm holding it up. Very important, you do not sew through that zipper. Just get as close as you can to it. So right there it is. I'm not quite to my mark, but I'm pretty close, so that's good enough. And do the same with the other, and then I'll show you what that looks like. Now the dogs are gonna be bad because Dave's home. <laughs> Actually, I think Brady's home now, so Coco's going to do her little freak out. Everybody's coming home. Okay, needle down. I'm going to pivot around. I'm holding my zipper nice and straight up and down again. I apologize for Coco. She gets really excited when everybody gets home. She's actually been pretty good tonight. But this is my house. What can I say? Okay, that's as close as I can get without sewing through my zipper. Oh, I gotta be able to get closer than that. That's not very close. Oh, now she's gonna do her little bay. That is her boy is home. She's happy. do the other side. Hi Brady. Everybody's home tonight except for Riley who's slaving away at work. And holding my zipper nice and straight. They all kind of have the same kind of bark. She goes a little more crazy over Dave. Um, she gives Brady the same bark she gives me when I get home. <laughs> all right. So, you can see my zipper is still super nice and flat with these panels. And now this kind of hangs up like this. And you can see on these ends. Actually, we're going to do one more thing. 
we aren't quite done. So let me know when you're to this point. And we have one more thing that we have to do. I almost forgot. And then we will be done. And that's going to close up this hole that we had left in the lining. So, Okay, so we'll give it another four minutes to get to here. And then I'll show you the last thing we are going to do today with these pouches. Yay, I'm glad you guys are doing well. I so said this is the hardest part, I swear. I promise you. Another three minutes or so. Another two minutes. Everybody still there? Oh, okay. There they are. Kim, I hope you're feeling better soon. When you get to this point, remember you can always message me and I will help you along. just adjusting my screen I noticed that it was kind of off screen there so I fixed that Have a great night Kim okay one more minute Diane keep me posted if you get that 1181 if you have if you need any advice I will help as much as I can just let me know Coco that's Benny's food out 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 you don't eat Benny's food such a piggy, you sneaky girl. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys what's next. Now, for these pockets, this is almost like boxing corners in a way, but we're doing it right at the zipper. So what you want to do is you want to kind of take your lining panel, kind of pull it away from each other like this, it's from each side like this. 
kind of like we're boxing it and see how it kind of goes out like a triangle here so right at the zipper where our zipper is nice and flat and we have that opening there right so you want to kind of put those seams flat you want to make sure you have equal amounts of lining on this side of the zipper and this side as much as you can so you're kind of fanning it out like you're boxing a corner like so so I have a little bit too much on this side so I'm going to kind of shift it kind of eyeball it and when you have it to where you think it looks good you're going to kind of push these seams open and secure it with a pin I don't think I did it like this in the tutorial this probably would have made a lot more sense to do it this way because it holds it in place you could also just hold it in place with your fingers like I did, but I think this is just an easier way to show you guys how I did it. And you can see how this is nice and centered with that zipper there. We have it kind of billowing out the same direction, like, like same amount on each side. And I'm just pinning through the zipper pocket, nothing else. Okay. And then what we're going to do is just where the zipper tape is. So just here. We're going to start at one end of the zipper tape and we're going to go ahead and with about a half inch seam allowance or so from these sides here we're going to go ahead and just stitch across that zipper tape right there and that's going to close off that hole diane i do think it would be all right um for the 1181 um just double check that the titan 1541 isn't around the same price because it might be because titans are a little cheaper than the jukies and the 1541 is a much bigger machine than that but um go to so whatever lauren mormino on um on facebook or not face on youtube she sews on 1181 and it'll give you a good idea what it does okay so i'm going to do the same on the other side here to get it prepared I'm going to kind of make sure my zipper's flat. I'm going to make sure this is kind of fanned out evenly like so. So you're kind of making, it's just like boxing a corner. So you're kind of making a triangle shape this way. And you want to make sure it's centered with that zipper tape. Fan it out. And then once you're happy with how it looks, kind of pin that in place. And then we will go and sew that shut and box that corner. Okay, I think that looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pin all of these in place first and then I will take them all to the machine at the same time. So right where this opening is, you're going to be kind of going just on the inside of that and just for the width of the zipper tape going across here to close up that hole. I'm going to do the same with this one. And that out. Come on, open up. There we go. This just takes a little bit of finagling to get it right. Okay, that looks pretty even to me, close enough. And again, you're just going to be sewing across where the teeth of the zipper are, so the length of the zipper tape. Oh, the neighbor's dogs are freaking out, and so is Coco. This is, I don't know if you guys can hear that. That's crazy. Okay. So again, you can see I have it angled out equally. Clipping it. Again, I'm only clipping through this lining, the zipper pocket lining. I'm not doing the exterior at all. And then once again, just the width of the zipper tape, right where this opening is, I'm just going to go across right there on all four little things. 
Um, I got about a half inch or so away from the zipper. You just got to make sure you don't sew through the zipper. But yes, this should be about a half inch to sew shut. I can tell you exactly. Yeah, it's a half inch. Okay. So yeah, if your gap is too big, just go back in and try it again. Okay, that's okay, Don. That's easily fixed. So what you're going to see, I don't know if you can see it here, from when I went across, remember those half inch top stitch lines we did? It comes right across, almost connecting those half inch lines. You can see it's kind of done in a square now. So here's our top stitching from the zipper and here's that line. Now I may have overshot it a little bit here, but I'm not too worried about it. So if those match up, you know you've done it pretty much right. Oh, I'm going to lose my thread. Come on. Tiffany's acting out today. Holy moly. Mm -hmm. I'm almost done with this Pacana black thread. I just do not like this thread at all. And then I can order myself some almond black thread. That'd be so nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Once again, half an inch. pretty darn close. We have overshot it a little bit there too, but it's going to get hidden in the seam, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay. So you can see there, see how it kind of forms? It kind of joined up with that top stitching and that's what we want. good to me. Said mine aren't perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to take those pins out. I'm going to take pins out of that side. So you can kind of see, see where I just went, where the zipper teeth were, or the zipper tape was on this side. I've closed up that. It's about a half inch in. And you can see here, 
I mean, I overshot it a little bit, but really this is going to get caught in the seam allowance. You're not even going to see the little overshot. But where we had done our half inch, you can kind of, um, top stitching, you can kind of see how it lines up there, which is exactly what we want. And it has given us our zipper stop. So when this is like this, you should have a fully functioning pocket there now on both sides. And you can go up ahead and you can trim up this excess so it's nice and even with our panels now. So we'll have no excess lining. You can see how my lining is overshooting and everything here. You can cut it up nice and even with our panels. So this is what we got. Same with the other side, nice and even. And nice and even and we are done with the hardest part did that make sense to you ladies it's exactly six o'clock now look at that I do my class plans and they end up being the exact amount of time that's actually pretty amazing so you can see when you stick these together I mean we haven't sewn it all together but you're getting an idea of what this is going to look like so we have our zippers going the same direction like so we have our middle slip pocket section here but we don't have our sides on or our bottom on yet and then our two zipper pockets and you can already tell how nice and straight these are going to be on top which is great and that is it for class I hope that all made sense again this was the this is the hardest part I find of the whole bag look how nice that little coat looks I hope it all made sense I hope we're good Again, if you have any questions about it when you're working on it, for those of you that weren't sewing along with us today, um, feel free to message me. Don and Kathy, I hope it made sense to you. <laughs> I'll give it 20 seconds to catch up and then we will say good night. Benny, what are you doing, baby? Why are you back there? That's a weird spot for you to be. How was class? Was this a good class? Was it a good pace? Did everything get explained okay? Doing good? Perfect. So yeah, Don, just get as close as you can. I mean, look easy. This is this part, I'm not gonna lie, isn't that it it's easy, but it's not easy. It's just a technique that we're not used to doing um, and I've only done it the one other time with the first bag and again I explained it differently I think in class than I did in the tutorial um, I hope I explained it better actually yeah so next class we will be making our tube and putting on our bottoms and then we are done so yeah yay no homework guys no homework Unless you need to catch up to get this far. So then you have homework. <laughs> All right. All right. I'm going to go and spend some time with my husband who's been working a lot of overtime. And I think we're just having an easy dinner of spaghetti and frozen meatballs tonight. So we're going to go and watch some of our shows. And thank you guys for an amazing day. It was a great YouTube day. I mean, we had our live this morning. We had a tutorial release and then we had class. I mean, Thursdays, Tuesdays and Thursdays are my favorite days of the week because I get to spend it with you guys. So thank you so much, everyone. And I will see some of you on Tuesday and I'll see the rest of you next Thursday. Okay. Love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh my gosh. Where'd my mouse go? I say that every time. Okay. Good night, guys. Bye.